Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Metro Nicole. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for the support. In today's video, I'm showing you a walkthrough of Walmart's Christmas decorations. They have a beautiful selection of ornaments at an affordable price. While at Walmart, I did do some grocery shopping and picked up a few cleaning supplies to get us through the week. I also took a trip to Michael's because I wanted to recreate a floral arrangement I saw on TikTok. So if you're interested, continue to watch. So I just thought I'd introduce myself for those who may be new. I'm a mom of two. I work full time, but I also enjoy cleaning my home, making it lovely, and a place of peace and love for my family. I also make videos on home decor, cleaning, and organization. And I just hope that I can motivate you to not feel overwhelmed, but try tackling you're cleaning one day at a time and one room at a time. I hope you guys are enjoying this Walmart walkthrough of their Christmas decorations. I wanted to show you what they have to offer. The prices are very reasonable. So far, I found that Walmart has the best price flocked garland for what I was looking for. The ones that I purchased were nine feet apiece. It worked out lovely. And later in the video, you'll see how I put everything together. I also purchased a flocked Christmas tree from Walmart. And I ended up having to purchase this Christmas tree from Display. They were completely sold out online. They didn't have anything in the store. So I had to transport the Christmas tree without a box, which I was completely fine. And everything is falling into place.
I ran to Michael's because I wanted to find some floral stems to recreate a floral arrangement for my kitchen counter that I found on TikTok. I would say that the prices in Michael's were a little bit higher than I wanted to pay for. So I ended up just, you know, going through a few things and found what I need. I was going to go by Joann's, but I decided not to and I just settled on what I found. And I did ask when I was checking out if I could return the items if I wasn't satisfied and they said yes. So I will create another video where it shows me creating the floor arrangement. I really hope it comes together. So we'll see. But Michaels did have some beautiful floor arrangements. Just next time I think I'll just check Joanne's first. Once I got back home, I unloaded the groceries and cleaning supplies. This time I decided to purchase bigger bottles of Pine Salt and Fabuloso. I feel that Pine Salt and Fabuloso will forever be a staple in my home. So this time I decided to get a bigger bottle. I'm trying this new pink toilet foam cleaner. I'll give my honest review on it in a next video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notifications on new videos. I try my best to release new videos every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm also in the process of showing you guys what I purchased from Walmart, their Christmas decorations. A lot of decorations I already had, so I just wanted to add a few different things.
I'm getting ready to show you guys what I purchased from Michaels to create the floral arrangement. I ended up getting that glass jar for 50% off, excuse me, 40% off. I wanted to get something similar to Flock, but not Flock. The Flock ones that I saw at Michaels, they they were kind of messy and I didn't want them to be too messy sitting on my kitchen cabinet. I mean, excuse me, my kitchen counter. So I'm hoping that everything comes together so I can't wait to record that and let you guys know the final result. I'm in the process of taking out all my Christmas decorations to get a better idea of what I have on hand. This just helps me prepare for anything else that I may want next. Anyone who knows me well knows I cannot stand lizards, bugs, or any critters. So if you see my facial expressions, it's because I'm afraid something's going to jump out on me and I just can't help it. So I'm pretty much going through each bin and bringing in the just Christmas decorations. I didn't want any of the bins really sitting inside unless it was a handful of items that I couldn't take out at once. I'm thankful I accumulated all these bins over the years because it's helping with storage. That is one of the cons at my new residence is I have no storage room at all. So the garage is pretty much it. The first set of decorations I wanted to set up was my garland. This garlic is not, it's a nine feet flock garland. It was purchased at Walmart for $15.88 and I love it. It does get messy, so keep that in mind, but it's worth the buy. You can bend the garland to your liking and fluff out the stems. It's very pretty in person. Um, this was the best deal I came across compared to Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And my local Walmart had a ton left in stock. My Christmas color scheme this year is pink, silver, and gold. I am still playing around with the colors to see what actually sticks or pops out to me. This is a test run. I usually give it a few days and I may end up changing my mind later. But this is just what I have so far.
So I'm just playing around to figure out what I like and what I don't like. I end up getting that sled from Hobby Lobby and those gold ornaments from Target. I'm thinking about adding some fake snow in the sled and putting the ornaments on top of that. I haven't completely decided or I'm considering putting the sled inside the Christmas tree it's just in case if I have any gaps. And at the top of the garland, I'm just adding the pink, silver, and gold. And I'm not sure if I completely like it, but I think it still looks pretty, of course, because it's pink. But I may consider just doing silver and pink. I'm just going to give it a few days and figure, you know, what kind of vibe I feel after. For the dining room table, I had, I had an idea to do a cluster of different Christmas trees. Most of the trees that I have, I've gotten from Hobby Lobby over the years. So anytime the price drops, I just go ahead and get them. And I'm on the hunt for a pretty tray to put these all these different Christmas trees under. The stockings and the stocking holders were purchased from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off and it worked out really well. So one of my daughters likes pink, the other doesn't. So we lucked out to where we found two pink stockings and one cream color stocking, but it was all within the same theme. And the stocking holders were 50% off as well. So everything tied in together very nicely.
overall I'm happy what I have so far this is just part one I'll decorate the Christmas tree with my girls probably the day before Thanksgiving or the day after we'll see I hope this gave you some Christmas decorating inspiration and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for part two I can't thank you guys enough for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye